Hey guys, this is Cyril Gupta, your best friend in the business and I just got out of trying a new product called EXT from Synthesis. This is a Chrome extension designed by Synthesis, the AI company that has created a series of products that deal with video and audio and images and EXT is all about repurposing images that you find online. So you can go to any website like Pinterest or Unsplash or Facebook or any website that has images and then you can simply right click on an image and use AI to modify it, to reconceptualize it right there and use it in your projects. I'm going to show it to you now and see and and you can see for yourself how it works and whether it will be something that you can use in your business. Now, Synthesis is on a special sale right now. It's a lifetime deal which is available only right now at this time. And in addition, if you buy Synthesis from me, you will also get Technic Force rewards and some exciting bonuses. So I will show you Synthesis next. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so just a quick heads up. Now the EXT tool is a part of the Synthesis suite. It's the entire suite of all the applications that Synthesis has created. They're integrating it in one interface. This is the main app that has everything. Now, if you don't have other apps from Synthesis, you might need to get access to them to access all these features like AI voices, AI humans, or Synthesis video translate. The tool that I'm talking about today is in Synthesis lab. It's right here. It's called Synthesis X. It's a Chrome extension which will be installed in your Google Chrome. So I'm going to just step out of the full screen mode so that we can have access to the extensions area. Now you can install it to your Chrome by clicking the button over here. Right now it says remove from Chrome because I already installed it. And if you click over here, you can see if it's listed, that means it's installed. So how do we use it? Well, Synthesis is quite simple to use and you can use it on any website that has images. The purpose of Synthesis is to repurpose or reconceptualize any image that you see online and you can use it to create image images that are original that are not, you know, uh, under the copyright limitations so that you can use them in your own projects. You can use them in your ads, your social media posts, your blogs, whatever you want. You can pick these images from anywhere, from websites like Pinterest, where I'm right now, from Unsplash, from blogs of other people, or even their Facebook or social media posts. Now remember, you will need to be able to get access to images to get this to work. Now let's take a look at how it works. So let's put in a search term in Pinterest right over here. For example, let's put in office designs. All right, so we'll get some results and you have results like this one. Let's check out this. And let's say you wanted a similar image for your ad. Let's say you were in office decoration, you're an architect or an interior decorator, and you had something that looks like this to put in your flyer, in your brochure or your website. You can simply right click on the image, right click, and then go into Synthesis X and you got two options. Generate similar character. Now this works only on people. So we're not gonna generate a similar character. We're gonna use the second option which is re-visualize this image. Click on it. And usually it takes about 10 to 15 seconds. It takes as one minute, doesn't take so long. Let me just talk to you after 15 seconds. All right, so that actually took about 20 seconds only and you can see these images. This is the first image. It's quite similar to the image next to the one, the image that I that I used as a source. It doesn't have a chair for the senior executive or whoever is meeting the person in front. And it has a nice bookcase. I like the bookcase. The, the, I think the curtains are also preserved quite well. The, the carpet seems to have lost some of its texture. But you see that you've got multiple options. So there is a second option right over here and you can use them in your graphics. If you're not satisfied for some reason you want more, more uh, variations, you can use this button over here. It will create some more variations for you. And again, you've got to wait like 20 seconds. All right, so you see this is another variation. I can also just try and create more variations using re-visualize this image. 
all right so i have some fresh visualizations you can see this image actually looks pretty good now the table looks very interesting i think it's actually more detailed than the original table it looks better honestly in my opinion and the shade also looks cleaner it's got little grooves which makes it look more interesting there are more artifacts on the table definitely a more interesting image than the one we started out and i can tell you this is a great way to find suitable images for use in your own publicity material you get pretty much the same colors the same kind of setup and if you are looking for a for a specific mood or a specific idea or design sense i think this is a great way to create similar images using something that doesn't belong to you but finding or creating something that belongs only to you so the copyright on this image is all yours and you can use it wherever you want that's very important i think that's the most important use of synthesis now of course you can download it to your computer for example over here it's downloaded and if you check it out i think this is a pretty good high resolution image it's great for for display definitely but i think it loses some detail if you want to print it maybe you can print it in a smaller size but you certainly can't print it in high resolution but you know what synthesis has a function called upscaler upscale or refine so when i use upscale on refine on the image it will make it much larger and i already used it on this image so let's download it and find out if this becomes much larger all right here we go one download in progress and let's see i think this is it yep well you can see now i can zoom in a lot more right and i get a lot more detail it's not looking as you know jaggedy or as low res as earlier it's pretty crisp honestly and you can use it in your print projects too so you can design things for other people you can use them in your own project it's totally up to you now there is one more feature you can make very very short videos out of any image that you feed in so if you click on this button it's going to make a 4 second video that you will be able to use as a video in your reels let's wait and check it out all right so it took about uh, a minute or so and the video was created but here's the thing the video when you see it on the screen on this app right now it's black and how you know it's created because the download button shows up so just look out for the download button right mouse over the download button and the animation that tells you to wait is gone so when you download the video here let's take a look so it's a very short video 4 seconds long and it's kind of uh, zooming and panning so it's great to create very small visuals that you can use in a bigger project you could be using them in a story that you have put up on for youtube so you just use these composite videos to create a complete video that you will be able to publish or you can use them in reels whatever way you want all right so let's carry on from there let's see if we got other stuff there is also translate but that's for audio and you can upload an audio file and translate it into multiple languages so it will do audio to audio translation that's also another feature of the ext now there is also a character mode and you can see i used it a little bit earlier to create these characters now what you can do with character is feed it a, an image of a person and it will create a variation of that image using ai and it works best when the face is totally visible so let's try for example people smiling interest is always a great source for images right and let's take this person all right let's create a variation for this person so again right click all right hold on sorry right click synthesis x and click on generate similar character and that might take another 30 seconds we'll be back soon all right check this out these are the images we got and you can see they're pretty real now i can't tell you that people won't be able to tell that these are ai images i think this one looks pretty much an ai image but this the image on top looks very natural and you can certainly use it in your promotional material also notice it kind of makes everything better about the image even the flowers look more defined their centers are visible and they looking more perfect so that's a definitely a good thing now you can create 
talking characters from this now that's the interesting bit you can create a talking person based on the image that we just put in so you have this little option send to generate a talking character right that's what you can do you can make a talking character out of the person again you can make variations you can download the image you can rescale or you can make a very short video or you can make a talking character now i don't seem to have this option enabled it seems to me that the access that i got did not give me give me talking character so i don't really have any way to show it to you but i expect it will work and i think you should take a look at the official demo maybe you will see it over there all right so that's about it and in the settings you have some options now you can create visualizer based images or you can also create images that try to re retain the text inside the image so let's take this image for example enjoy all right so it, we, i think we just went to the website instead it's an ad so let's look for banner ads or let's look for posters right posters also have great text always have great text all right, so let's find something with a lot of uh, text. Just do it, right? This is interesting. Let's see what this product can do with this. So uh, manipulate prompt, character consistency, we're gonna leave it as is, pose control, we're not gonna be able to do any posing, controlling, and let's just keep text high. All right, so let's see how this works. Again, revisualize this image. Okay, so this retained the text pretty well. So I don't understand what this image is about. If the person is masked, maybe they were trying to create a Deadpool sort of a character. But this image is pretty neat. Now, of course, it's illustrated, but look at the quality and look at the way the text is preserved. So you can create pretty good variations of your posters, of your text-based images, your ads. If you're running Facebook ads and you got some text on it and you don't want to pay a designer to create variations, well, this could save you a lot of time. You could just go to that ad. Of course, you will need to load it up on a web page because this works as a Chrome extension, right? So you will need to load it up on a web page and then you can just reconceptualize any image. How's that? And again, you can make it upscale or you can make a video out of it. I'm really interested to see what kind of video does this create. Let's try that. All right, so the video is generated. Click on download. Let's see what happens here. All right, so this is definitely not what we wanted, but this is AI for you. It's still in the on the way, and I'm sure a few months down the line, this is gonna be perfect. Well, this was EXT by Synthesis for you, and if you think that this is something you wanna use in your business or you want to help other people with solving the problems that this product can solve again i have the best deal for you because it's not just about the great bonuses that i have for you also i will give you access to my own premium products the best products in the industry right i'm very proud of my products and if you use them you know that uh, they are definitely the best product in every category that i have you can give access to them you can use them and that's through the Technic Force Rewards program. So if you go to Technic Force Rewards star in, this is where you see your reward points. There is a little video that shows you how to use this website. It's very easy. You'll be up and working gone, up and ready in about what like five minutes, right? And you, and your reward points never expire. So if you collect them today and you want to redeem a product later on after three months, I have a lot of products coming out. By the way, you can redeem it then absolutely anytime you want right they don't expire so guys if you want to pick up ext get it from my link i will see you on the inside this is cyril gupta your best friend in the business signing off